Okay, so what I want to do today is to show you how to paint Springer Lake cookies. So the first thing you need is obviously a cookie that's already baked and cold. And I'm going to show you with this, um, this little rose. So there's a rose and a bud. And I'm going to be painting it with um, four different colors. A pink for the rose, then something for the leaves the little base of the leaf and then the border. Then you need uh, vodka or Everclear. I'm gonna use Everclear today. First thing I do is to pour some here in the center. My computer is making noises. I think I'm getting text messages. <laughs> okay, so then you need the luster powder. I'm gonna start with the pink so I use this color. They are all from Oh Sweet Art. I love this brand. And this is called Tulip Red. So you see how gorgeous it is? It's um, very, it has some kind of a metallic shine to it. So what you do, because the rose is kind of small, you also need a set of brushes that are fine so that you can work with the details. You get a little bit of the powder and you add to the dry, a dry well here. And how much to add, pretty soon you're gonna realize how much. This is more than I need, but I'm gonna be making other cookies, so no big deal. Then, don't worry if you spill some in the vodka, it's all very forgiven. You get some vodka in that powder. And again, the more you work with this, the more you realize how much vodka or how much powder you have to use. I don't like it to have it too liquid. I like a little bit of texture, but I don't like it creamy because it, then it tends to just to make blotches of color. It's not good. Now you get your cookie and you just touch the areas you want to have in pink with that brush. It's very forgiving. You don't really have to be a Monet or a Picasso to work with this. If I can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Okay, so that's my rose. Then I'm gonna get a little more for the rosebud. And as you touch it, the liquid tends to go exactly where it needs to go. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> that's my rose and the rosebud. Then I am going to do the leaves in a slightly, well, maybe unusual way, because I'm going to use a baby yellow instead of green. It's a pretty bright color, and I think it's going to look cool. So let's see. I get a bit of the yellow, add to another dry well. Some drops of my vodka. mix it I think that looks good maybe I need a little bit more powder just to make sure it's not too liquid and now again I just touch the area I want to add the color to I like it I think it, it looks kind of nice yellow leaves, pretty bright. And again, you can see it's pretty forgiving. Even if it goes outside of the leaves, it doesn't really matter. It all, in the end, it all looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna get um, another color. This is called Tan Opal. And I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the base of the rose. I sometimes just grab a little vodka with the with brush and it works. So I'm just gonna do the base of the flower and then the stalks here. I find this pretty relaxing 
it's a nice thing to do. Now, another thing you can do is um, get a little bit of this darker color, just a tiny bit more dilute, so that it's, you know, less dramatic, and just touch the leaves a little bit. You know, it just gives a little bit more, I don't know, harmony between the leaves and the stalks and everything. I think it ties everything together nicely. Finally, all I need to do is the border. And to do the border, I normally keep them either white or golden. And in this case, I think either one would look good, but let's go for the white. One of my favorite colors, <laughs> if white is a color, is this uh, Super Pearl, because it's so beautiful and it goes well in almost any design of any cookie. In fact, if I don't wanna use color, a lot of color, I usually go for the pearl white and golden, and I make just a two color cookie, and I think it looks pretty stylish and elegant. Depending on the pattern that you have, it, it can be pretty nice. So you just go, again, you can see it's very forgiving. It's getting a little thick, so you just add more vodka so that it runs nicely and it forms the border that you want. Another thing I wanted to show you with this um, pearl color, which I like to do, is whenever I finish the design, if I have like a rose, I go with the brush and I touch a little bit of the white and I will just add just a little touch here and there. I think that um, makes it pretty nice. So um, that's it, you see? You just, with the four colors, you can do a pretty nice cookie. And um, the more you work with it, the easier it gets. I find it uh, extremely relaxing. And again, it's, it's pretty easy. As I said already, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So give it a try and um, make nice cookies, have some, and best of all, share them with someone you love.